What up traders, what up investors? Yes, you read that title page right. Yes, there was a particular option that literally gained nearly well over 10,000 percent increase just with the large move within Salesforce today. And we're going to be diving into this and understanding why and the probability of these options expanding and really just exploding in price with this. Again, looking here at CRM, let's go ahead and just dive right into it. Had a absolute, absolutely phenomenal quarter, uh, breaking out to all-time highs today, having a large move just yesterday breaking up to all-time highs but then having a huge gap up jumping up 56 dollars hitting a high of 277 dollars and 97 cents today just remember that stock was around uh 215 just yesterday so a value of nearly 56 dollars increased within the stock jumping up 26 percent in one single day uh so that is pretty phenomenal and just in that case itself so that is just making these moves seem really crazy uh breaking out of these deviation panels quite substantially looking for potential higher prices who knows uh looking for some support basically around 245 but let's go ahead and jump to the options chain here we're looking here at the this friday's options chain and we're looking for that two 55 call that was that closed and increased in value of well over 10,000 percent in one day so we can kind of break this down even more we can bring this to the large chart here on the big screen and look at the value here so this stock was let's go back to a smaller time frame let's just bring this in we're going to be bringing this down to like a 15 minute side this option at its low was basically six cents and if we just break this down to uh, let's do like a four hour chart uh just yesterday it got a high of about a dollar 85 then kind of kind of closed here at basically 40 cents imagine buying a, a, such a far uh, out out of a out of a basically an out of the money call not expecting this ever to be in the money that's expiring this week but again with earnings you got that coin flip and you got that uh the crazy uh tech on and looking for that options that just exploded higher uh opening up and being the high of the day of twenty three dollars and forty seven cents so imagine buying an option for forty bucks and then the next day it was it's being worth about twenty three hundred dollars so that is pretty phenomenal uh I haven't seen anything on Wall Street bets regarding on this particular trade. I don't think many folks actually took that trade uh, because that was just a uh, such a large deviation move of I think the options market was just maybe looking for like a twenty dollar move. I believe it was maybe looking for uh, let me go back to like a daily side here, maybe looking for like uh, like a one thirty to like a one forty move, but we had a again substantially larger move than uh, than the market may uh, uh really calculated for and now we're seeing that really coming to fruition uh, we've seen this before again with Tesla and all of those various companies like that um, potentially seeing this trend to continue potentially building a new base and top up here but again with these moves it's very hard to kind of classify these just every one of their mothers trying to get into that position and just really get, driving that up and honestly creating that FOMO mentality um, within the stock and really just driving it up. It's going to be hard to kind of start drawing some uh, retracements. We're going to be looking for around 145. If it starts breaking below that, we're going to be start looking for around wherever the uh, eight EMA lines and same with the excuse me, the 21 EMA kind of line up from there. And that's going to be basically our downward support. But again, with these large moves to the upside, like we talked about that with uh, Tesla, so we can kind of show that example with Tesla way back when we have to go all the way back here. We had that large move, a uh, huge gap up on earnings. Then again, that FOMO crew came in, gapped up some more, then kind of gave back a little bit again, like we talked about, kind of waiting for that 8 EMA to kind of come into, uh, let that volume settle down. And so in particular with CRM, we need to see that pattern kind of play out. So potentially, again, the, those moving averages are going to be highly elevated, kind of waiting for that potential uh, uh, ticks to kind of start coming down the end of the candles to the 8 EMA, maybe having the volume slow down because, again, we had a huge increase in volume coming in today. We can see that on this chart here, having 
over 55 million, what is it? Sorry, 62 million shares come in. Um, on an average day, we have about seven. So we're talking almost eight times uh, the amount of volume, almost nine times the volume that come in on an average day in this particular stock. So this looks like a fantastic move higher for CRM. And anyone who had anything in CRM and is still long side, a little, little clap for you there, high five, a little fist bump, a little pat on the back, a little smack in the butt, and a great uh, thumbs up and some knuckles there. Again, great work there, guys. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the description below. And if you're interested in joining the Patreon page or the YouTube uh, membership page, please definitely check out those links below. And the and fantastic Discord link is down below as well. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Ken from the Dyslexic Investor, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace!